Hey YouTube, Coppersan here. Today we're checking out the remastered Fire Poison Mage. One of their new skills is completely broken. It made this class become a very lazy farmer early on. It's pretty crazy, so let's go take a look. Like I mentioned in the previous videos, this is still filmed in the test server, so some skills might still be buffed, nerfed or changed before they hit the live server, so please do keep that in mind. This update will most likely be released in about 6 months from now on MapleStory Global and MapleStory C, and there is a big balance update coming on the 18th, that's tomorrow, so skill changes and balance changes are not yet final. Explorer Magicians in their first jump now have an up jump and can float in the air for a while. Pretty sick for bossing or to get to higher up places quickly, you can teleport after you jump up which is pretty nice as well. Magic Bolt has gotten some more lines. Grinding is pretty okay in first job, but uh, Magic Bolt still can't go through terrain, so there's still that happening. In second job, we get introduced to two improved grinding skills. Both the Flame Orb and Poison Breath skill got some nice improvements, with the biggest one being for your Poison Breath. This skill now hits around your character and hits for six lines. Great for training in more denser areas, while your Flame Orb skill still can be used to hit monsters a bit further away, but this skill only does hit for two lines of damage though. I definitely like training with the poison skill a lot more. Besides those two skills being modified, your booster skill was turned to a passive. And besides that, not many big changes for the fire poison mage in second job. It's a bit more convenient to grind with the new and improved skills, but nothing too crazy. As you might have noticed, I'm trying to get to third job ASAP, because that's where the magic really happens. In third job, fire poison mages get a new skill to replace their poison slime skill. That skill was pretty useless, I think. The new skill is called poison region, and it's straight fire. You place down a poison magic circle that spreads around on the platform it's on. Those are those green blobs on the ground. This only works on one platform though. If the platform is sloped it will still spread but if the platform ends then the skill also will end. Monsters who walk into the poison ground are poisoned and will take damage over time. But the best part of this skill is that any sort of fire magic will then explode the poison on the ground and once set off the explosions don't stop until it reaches the other end of the chain of poison circles on the ground. So one explosion can set off a full map attack if you're training on a single platform map. It doesn't matter if you hit the poison in the middle of the chain or the end of the chain, the explosion will continue to travel until it reaches the end. The poison spreads pretty fast but sometimes it does happen that the chain gets broken and if that's the case the explosion will stop. But the poison will stay on the ground for a pretty long time even after the original poison skill already ended. I actually had to look around a bit for some nice maps to use in combination with this skill, but because the reach is pretty far, it is possible to train at some flatter maps by just using Poison Circle and then the Explosion skill. It was an extremely lazy way to grind and I loved every second of it. The Explosion does hit pretty high upwards as well, making it easier to train at some taller maps as well. And any fire skill can set off the explosion, so it works with the Explosion skill in 3rd job or Paralyze and Meteor in 4th job etc etc. For me, this skill alone really changed how I wanted to train with this class. I was trying to remember which maps were pretty flat or at like a single big platform that I could train on using the skill. I think at higher levels you can pop the skill at like the biggest platform and explode it during your rotation, making grinding even better for higher level fire poison mages. This one skill can be a pretty big game changer, especially at the early levels and it's a nice addition to higher level grinding as well. Apparently this skill was even more broken a week ago and did already receive some nerfs. What you're seeing in this video is the nerfed version, but as you can see it's still pretty potent. We don't really have any Legion link skills or funding and we can still one shot or almost one shot with this skill pretty early on. The explosion skill itself has gotten a makeover as well and I gotta say I actually really like the design of this skill. It looks clean with defined edges while still being an explosion. Poison Mist got a visual update as well and looks a bit better in my opinion. And similar to the other explorer mages, there are now two toggle skills for your teleport. One to increase the range and one to deal damage with your teleport skill. But to be honest, I was very late with adding skill points into these two skills because I was just standing still and exploding the map, you know? Third job grinding was extremely lazy and like I said, I loved every second of it. And honestly, your four job skills just turn up the heat even more. With new animations for Paralyze, Mist Eruption, Meteor, Flame Haze and Ifrit, this explorer remaster seems to add a lot of smoke and whatnot to skills and that's actually perfect for the fire poison mage. I personally really like all the new animations and actually visually this is my favorite upgrade to all the explorer classes so far. The range for Paralyze was also increased a little bit from what I could see and the passive effect that happens after you use Meteor, that additional small meteor that would drop out of the sky when attacking, was changed to now have a chance to activate at all times with a 60% chance. If you're on the right map, training can go super fast thanks to the third job poison circle skill. Robots for example work pretty well, also the blue robots are weak to fire if I remember correctly. But yeah, just to say it once more, training as a fire poison mage is pretty lit right now. Just put down your third job poison skill 
and explode it. And actually, you gotta be careful though, don't explode it too fast because then the chain actually gets broken pretty easily. But still, it is extremely lazy. There are some other changes to the hyper skills as well. Uh, looks like for once Phantom had one of his skills stolen because Megiddo Flame looks exactly like one of Phantom's fifth job skills. I personally think this skill looks a bit out of place being blue, but hey, flames can be blue as well. But still, you know, everything is red or poison, but it's pretty useful when grinding and bossing and it will now bounce around and it's actually pretty good. I just don't know about the looks, but hey, those are personal anyway. And the fifth job poison chain skill was improved as well. But since I'm not really fifth job myself, I couldn't unfortunately not show that. The big test server balance update is scheduled for tomorrow, so I'm actually very curious to see if the poison circle third job skill will actually be nerfed or it will stay like it is right now. If anyone working for Nexon is actually watching this video, that skill is actually almost perfectly balanced and could, maybe you could use a small buff, uh, pretty please. What do you think about the remastered fire poison mage yourself? Let me know in the comments. Next up are the remastered dual blade and cannoneer. Both classes did not get that many changes, so I'll just cover both in one video. And that video will be up tomorrow. And that was all for today. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oz, Terry Kim, Varies, Kaudi Mora, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace OTI, Safronix, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Anwar NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Plidiot, Beamer WT, Knife Sue, Chen125, Cloudfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy11, Sir Tito655, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Lucky. Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zhang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heopan, Simak, Striker Elk, Nock MSS, Niu, Tidal and Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Stanislaus Kusumo Vegas, Riser RU, Eddie Reacts to Things, Dular, Gummy Bullet, Mr. Nark, Lovebird, Rev Soli, Ruski TV, Yo Mama, Matthias Simonson, Caveman, oh yeah, Colando Bolavia, I'm disappointed. My name is Corpusan and I'm super cute XOXO. Clap for the moment, PC Game Life, Max Bernhardt, and David Walther. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.